Hey guys, so I finally got the Northern Cast Iron Skillet, the number eight. Um, this, this company is based, I think, from Utah, uh, made here in the USA. Uh, and it's the one of the, I think it's the second one that's made in the West Coast. Uh, we have Finex that's made in uh, Portland, Oregon, and this one I think is made in Utah. Don't know exactly where, but uh, very surprised to see that it is different from what I saw in the pictures. Uh, or, you know, in their video that they had, you know, uh, put out about a year ago. But um, you can see here, you know, the cast iron. Uh, a little bit of the uh, getting started guide, a cleaning uh, cleaning and care kit. Uh, not kit, but instructions. And, uh, you know, the, the basic stuff, what they think uh, you can do to help out your skillet uh, to get it going. But like I said, um, very surprised. Uh, the seasoning on this is probably one of the thickest seasonings I've seen besides you know something that you see from Lodge or the triple lock black or the triple seasoning from uh, black lock uh, you know their seasoning is a lot thicker um, but this one you know uh, like I said a lot thicker in their seasoning and it's very appreciated I know people don't like pre-seasoned cast iron sometimes people want to do their own that's fine um, uh, the handle here, you can tell, uh, it's a little nicked uh, from the grinder. Um, but other than that, it's perfect. Uh, the seasoning looks great. You know, a little here, you know, things here and there. But I'm sure this is hand seasoned. Uh, I think it's a small company. I don't think they are a big company. So I'm sure everything is done by hand. And like I said, uh, they just started um, selling their cast iron not too long ago. The other thing that I noticed is that I got uh, the skillet that says the first casting, I think. Uh, so it's like their first run. Uh, very happy with that. I didn't know I was gonna get that. And uh, like I said, very pleasantly surprised. I like their design. It looks different from what, like I mentioned, uh, from what I you know, saw in their photos and videos and their ads. Um, so the ha second handle is actually very nice. I like it. I like the way it looks, yeah, you know, and, and the shape, the size, it's perfect. The handle also, um, I like it. Uh, it's a good size. It's it's a little long, but that's fine. If you want to use it for camping, I'm sure this skillet is going to be great for camping because it's very thick. It's got a very thick bottom and uh, the sidewalls are a lot thinner. Not too thin, obviously, but you know, thin. Uh, like I said, first casting made in uh, United States, uh, Northern Company. So it's a very nice uh, skillet. Uh, you can tell the quality is great um, and uh, the weight, uh, you know, gives you a little bit of confidence if you want to use this on an open fire. The seasoning, there's a little bit of pulling here and there and, and you know, it's not perfect, but like I said, I'm sure everything was uh, hand seasoned. So I, I appreciate that. And I'm sure a lot of people would as well. So uh, like I mentioned, uh, very good looking skillet, very uh, high quality. I'm, you know, first impressions blown away. Uh, like I said, um, very pleasantly surprised. So comparing this, to the other ones that there's so many nowadays. Um, but one of the re the other recent ones is Lancaster. So Lancaster actually is made in Pennsylvania and they also just recently launched theirs. Um, so I don't think, and they're also a small company as well. But Lancaster has to be the closest throwback to vintage cast iron. The Northern is, you know, reminiscent to vintage cast iron, but not nearly as the Lancaster. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. The Lancaster, like I said, feels very durable. The weight, uh, like I said, not too heavy, not too light. It's perfect. Um, and it gives you confidence to cook in it with high heat, um, um, even though, I mean, I wouldn't recommend high heat. And comparing it to the Lancaster, the, their number, uh, their 10 inch skillet, same size. Uh, the only difference is about a one eighth of an, of an inch. So. Uh, not very big differences between these skillets. Um, mine is, my Lancaster has been seasoned, has been cooked on, um, and it's been doing great. Uh, so I'm, I'm very excited to give this, the Northern Company skillet a go, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, you know, I'll be posting videos of all these skillets that I have with uh, reviews and, you know, uh, use after a couple months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, and, you know, Thank you guys for your time. 